Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Kanazawa City here in Shadow Tactics. Uh, we've almost managed to get through the hard part. What I've decided now is the hard part, even though earlier I said that I think the other part will be the hard part. So if this straw hat oops, I had the wrong person's like if this straw hat got killed, it would not alert the guards up on the roof. A shuriken throw is going to alert the samurai unless he's at that end of his patrol. But, I mean, there are a lot of places here. If I can get uh, Mugen over to... Damn it. If I can get Mugen over to here... Like the uh, Stryat Stry can't actually see him. So it's just a matter of getting Mugen close enough to be able to... Uh, to knock out the samurai. Alright, I think we want to wait until he has come back to here and is walking away again. And then this should be quite easy. I don't think I have to go inside. I mean, I guess there's no there's no really compelling reason not to. I really want to thank whoever it is, and I apologize, I don't remember. Uh, whoever it was that told me that Mugen can kill, can beat up Samurai with his bare hands, because that has been so useful in getting some of these badges. Alright, and then it should be, like, pretty straightforward to just stab this dude, right? Let's try to get these guys hidden before this becomes an issue. And I don't think I really have to deal with these guys, but maybe I should just- they occasionally look inside and would make things a little easier if I did, I think. Shit. The samurai is up here on the uh, the outer part of the wall. I did not think he would be able to see that guy die. That's fine. Kill just one at a time. Could you please maybe uh, clean up after yourself? That's interesting. I didn't realize that there was a way up there. I'm not sure what the value of that is. Why don't we just get back in here? I also forgot about the ladder you can throw it on the wall, but I still think we made the right decision with these two uh, as to our entry vector. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, that's going to make things a little bit easier. And now it's just run over here and cut this guy up. Okay, and the courtyard belongs to us. So at this point, we can finally reunite the band. I guess there's nothing to do but to uh, put the gunpowder barrel. Where's the? There's like a zone where you're supposed to drop it. Oh, just near. Okay. All right. Now we've got uh, we've got a badge still uncompleted that requires us to. Uh, here's the. Here's the zone. We got a badge still uncompleted that requires us to kill four enemies with a gunpowder barrel, and I don't think that that should be a, a situation that's terribly difficult to engineer. 
Alright, I'm assuming it'll be okay for us to use somebody else's gun for this instead of Hayato's, just in case I want to save Hayato's uh, ammo. Oops. Alright. So, it's not until here, not until we get here, that Okoto comes out of his, uh... Okay, maybe we should, uh, move everybody to safety. Civilian's gonna run and tell who about it. Some straw hats? They're not gonna care. Possibly they're not gonna care. Maybe we shouldn't be here when he gets back. And I remember this part being a little tricky, but I like to think that I am a lot better at the game than I was then. Even so, this is maybe going to be a little difficult. So there's nobody looking at this samurai. This guy's like the key, right? We have to kill that samurai and we have to do it with Hayato. And to be perfectly honest, if I can just get Hayato up there, he can probably do the whole thing himself. There's lots of, uh... Okay, just crouch, yes, okay. What do you think the odds are? I'm gonna try something. What do you think the odds are I can just run up the side here? Okay, I can stand here safely, it looks like. Maybe even here? Hmm... Right here, I think. Maybe. Let's find out. Okay. So I need to wait for... things to line up a little bit. But I think I can just sprint past the samurai, maybe. Or actually, I need to make it to here. Let's maybe even do this. Just that I don't have to worry too much about the uh, pair of vision cones. Okay, I remember doing this in a much more roundabout way last time. <laughs> oh, okay, camera jumped very suddenly. All right, there we go. And then the samurai was the only person who can see this guy, right? Pretty sure. That right there is probably the way you have to clear this area when doing a speed run. So I think at this point, like, we all just sort of walk down the middle. This civilian's the only person who could possibly be a problem, and he's not now. So we sprint. Please don't turn the samurai. Yeah, okay. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's give ourselves a good save. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually save the game right here. Or I'm gonna miss the save button. That's good. You never need clicking accuracy in this game. Okay. Let's give ourselves the maximum uh, possible chance here. Okay. So how do I do this? How do I do this so fast? Do I just disregard everything? Ah, I can't do it. Unfortunately, the game... Uh the game places Takuma for you up on a cliff here, preventing you from doing the, the obvious thing and just throwing a grenade. So I'm trying to think, what, what could possibly allow me to do this within 10 seconds? I'm supposed to try to complete the level without having Takuma shoot anything, but maybe the play is just to shoot him with Takuma. Um, and then figure, figure the other thing out afterward. We'll come back and do it without using Takuma. Alright. Just 
Go, man, go. Oh, I didn't get to him. Hmm. We might be able to... I'm thinking that it, this may not be a thing I can do with Hayato, but we might be able to have um, Mugen do it. It would be great if I could cause a distraction. Ten seconds is not a lot of time. Oh, but Mugen can just do it with his uh, with his cannon, can't he? That's right. He just has to get line of sight, basically. It's actually way easier than the way I did it the first time. Jesus. Okay. Uh, we're going to obviously go back and do this with Hayato properly, but I had to get that. Also, we might be able to get that four guards with an explosive barrel thing in this part of the level. All right, so let's... Uh, no, please, load. Let's reload our last normal save. I guess it could have been the quick save. It doesn't matter. And this time we can uh, we can quick save right after we enter the bush and trigger the trigger the Okoto event. So it's possible that we could finish off four guards with an explosive barrel right here. There are some explosive barrels available, I think. And it's I mean the area is swarming. It wouldn't be too hard to get four guards in one place. So that may be how we do this. Otherwise, we can reload the level and um, we can maybe pick up. The last save I did between episodes, that might work. Because there's a, there's a, the part where we, where you have to go down the narrow hallway where I just had Hayato run up the side, that part has a fair number of guards. We might be able to, uh, by causing an alarm or using Kuma, gather a bunch of guards to a place and then throw a barrel at him. Mugen used to be. Last episode Mugen was playing the part of the janitor. Today Mugen is Donkey Kong. Although he's Donkey Kong with a bazooka, because I mean, I guess Donkey Kong sort of has a bazooka, doesn't he? Listen, I'm so old that my memory of Donkey Kong is almost entirely pre-Donkey Kong 64. All right, I didn't know anything about coconut guns when I was a kid. So if we... We can probably just use Kuma right here. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about, like, causing an alarm and then putting a... Bush it, or putting a barrel in a bush or something. We can probably just use Kuma right here to do this. So let's run over here, cause the cutscene to happen. F5. Okay. So there are indeed a couple of barrels over here. We can get to this area pretty easily. And then, yeah, we can just have Kuma draw some guards together. Maybe like. Ooh, maybe. Where can I place Kuma? I can get him to here. So I actually sort of can't... Oh, I'm not allowed to use Kuma at all, in fact. He won't go over there. Um... Oh! What, <laughs> what if I knock out four guards and put them in a big pile and then blow them up? I think that probably works. Okay. That's gonna be the plan. Uh, sorry, I meant to have you do this. This is a dumb plan, but I'm going to do it. So that's going to require... Come on. Actually, I'll go ahead and put him down. How did you just run right past me? All right, so hold these two. These two now cannot uh, cannot awaken. We'll sneak across and we'll grab this guy. Actually, let's have somebody who's not good at carrying bodies do that. We'll have we'll have Yuki knock this dude out and hold him, and then Hayato can grab one of these guys out here. Yeah, this is a good plan. This is a, this is a fine plan. This is definitely what the developers intended. There's a mean punch. She's also got a fairly impressive vertical. 
Alright, do these, these samurai do not see the straw hat? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Am I allowed to set this ladder up? No, I guess not. Oh, well, whatever. So we'll cut this open. Punch this guy out, which will just make things easier. Okay. I don't want to do this. Oh, the other, the other samurai could still see me. I didn't really think about that. Uh, so I, okay. Once I walk the guy through, I can drop him. I guess. Actually, actually, it's probably better to have Yuki do that part because she can just walk the the guy all the way across the vision cone. Oh, no, wait, that's right. The samurai can see. Okay. No, don't put that guy down. Why did you put that guy down? There we go. Alright. So we want to have Yuki... Oh, boy. Okay, back to sneak. Want to have Yuki move all the way around here. I'm assuming that... Okay, yeah, they're, the unlined part of their vision cone doesn't extend very far in. Oh, damn it. Actually, there's so few... Um, <laughs> there's so few guards. <laughs> but it kind of doesn't matter. We can just... We can just alert... This is the only one who'll come over here. Everybody else is stationary. Oh, except, that guy, I guess, could do something. He won't, but he could. Alright, so we'll have Hayato come over here and hold this dude. Yuki can come over and grab this guy and walk him around safely. And then we just put them all down and uh, shoot the crap out of them. It's going to take a little bit of patience. And if, as long as Hayato shoots the barrel, I think it probably will not even break our uh, our only Hayato may kill guards restriction. I wait for the patroller to turn around. Okay, it does not say conscious guards, right? <laughs> yeah, just kill four enemies. Easy. Uh, where do I want to do it? I don't want to do it right next to the barrels because I'd like to maybe be able to use the barrels. No, no, please go around this side. We'll just do it over here. That's fine. Damn it. Bam. Absolutely the developer's intent. Okay, now we just have to get this final kill with Hayato. We have saved up a tremendous amount of ammunition that we can't use. Never mind. We've saved up a tremendous number of grenades. How far do these go? We can knock out one samurai with it. I'm not supposed to shoot anybody with Takuma, that's right. Although, actually, we already got that. Yeah, screw it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hold too tight on trying to get all this stuff done at the same time. I'm gonna have Yuki... Uh, come across here and kill this guy just for safety. There's no particular reason to leave an extra guard wandering around. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, what? Alright, well, I can kill you this way, too. That's fine. Look at my trap back. Okay. Uh, yeah, if we had access to... Oh, what am I doing? Only Hayato. They kill guards. Duh. Did I just quick save after stabbing the dude? Yes. Damn it. Alright. Hayato can just shuriken him, I guess. When he's at this end of his patrol, I think he should be in the clear. And then once he's dead, I'm not 100% sure what my play is going to be. Um, we can knock out one of the samurais with the with the gas and cause some some havoc. All I really have to do is create an opening, right? If I can get the guards looking around and sneak Hayato through. As soon as this dude turns around. What are you doing? Okay, well apparently I've created a uh, created some chaos. Maybe? Chaos? No. No, it looks like no. Uh Hayato doesn't have any bullets left. So it's gonna have to be Takuma who gets the uh, who gets the blow. What if I do this? Okay, that does give me an opening to run in. Let's just uh, try that. Okay, that works. They all surrender immediately, I guess. There you go. Say, so, uh, it's a... I actually don't know the cross guardy bit of a katana, the circular bit. What is that called? I don't know. It's one of those things we made out of a shuriken. That's appropriate. Well, this was awfully fast, so I will probably post another Shadow Tactics video today. Uh, I don't want to include multiple missions in the same video, just for ease of naming them, so that when people are trying to figure out how to do the badges, they can find the thing they're looking for more easily. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, as much as I'm enjoying making it, and occasionally enjoying remembering to do my outro. If you are, please, you know, comments and likes, and all that good stuff, and come back next time. We're going to Kagesama's camp. I bet this one's not going to be too bad. I am terrified of these two levels, though. Anyway, come back next time. Ka Kagesama's camp, and we'll see you then.